Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode, and welcome my friends to what is quite possibly going to be the craziest video you have ever seen on this game. What you're about to see in a few moments time, over 1000 skeletons and all jump spells are going to raid a base, and I promise you, it is insane gameplay, so stay tuned guys, this episode is going to be worth the watch. So I would just like to say a massive thank you to every single person who has subbed to this channel, guys. We've just passed 880,000 subscribers. We are so close to 900,000 subs. Now, do not forget, guys, on the 31st of October, just over a week's time, we are giving away $1,000 in prizes. Now, every single person who has subscribed to the channel will have the chance to win $1,000 US dollars. So if you want the chance to win, guys, all you need to do is sub to the channel and, of course, leave a like on this video right now just to show some support, guys. So the, uh, the gift prize will be announced in a few days' time. It's going to be half PayPal money, and the other half of it is going to be some really awesome gifts. So as I said, if you want the chance to win that, all you need to do is sub to the channel and drop a like on this episode. But for now, it's time to get ourselves into this insane attack. It's going to be, as I said, over 1,000 skeletons in total, five jump spells, and a random base. Let's go! So check this out. This is going to be the first attack, but we are going to do quite a few of them inside of this episode, so stay tuned, as I said. Now, to begin with, we're going to be using 20 max brand new buffed witches, guys. For those of you that don't know, they actually received triple hit points in the previous update. So we got 20 witches, 5 jump spells, and a poison. Now, all I'm going to say is, in total, there are over 1,200 skeletons deployed in this one single battle. What I want you guys to do... Watch this entire replay, and then at the end of the replay, let me know down below in that comment section how many skeletons you think were deployed. Whoever gets the uh, the closest guess, I'm going to watch a couple of replays back, whoever gets the closest guess to mine, I will give you a shout out in the next episode. So check it out guys, one, two, three, four, five jump spells go down, and of course we're going to start off by dropping in one single witch, and then we're going to drop in the other 19, but as I said, just watch this video guys, I promise you, you are going to see in total there will be over 1,200 skeletons deployed in the map. So go down below in that comment section and take your guess. Now already there are about 250, maybe even 300 skeletons on the map guys. The witches can produce a maximum of 10 skeletons at any one time. Unfortunately, this little group here decided not to funnel into the center, but it doesn't matter guys, let's just check out the damage we can do to this base. So let's see, these new max level witches, I'm not going to lie, they're really fun to use, but they still kind of, uh, I wouldn't say are the greatest, because of course they do get completely destroyed by giant big bombs. So the Barbarian King and maybe 100, maybe 50 to 100 skeletons have made their way into the center of the base. The rest of the witches gone around the left-hand side. They all seem to be attracted to the left-hand side for some reason. So many skeletons just running around this base. Now what we're going to do in a few moments after this attack is over, we're going to try a variety of different strategies. This may include skeleton spells. And then at the end of the episode, we're going to try something I have never seen any YouTubers do. We're actually going to use all skeleton spells with a, with a random army which doesn't include witches. Now the skeleton spells produce 26 skeletons each, which means there are going to be about 300 skeletons on top of a random army. So it's going to be pretty damn insane. Check out that wizard tower completely frying those larries. There's about 100 gravestones there. Here we go. Another 100 larries about to get fried. They're just getting dropped so fast like flies by this wizard tower. I mean, it must have killed hundreds of them. So how many skeletons do you think you have seen on the map so far, guys? So far, I reckon there's been maybe seven or 800, but of course, we still have to make our way through the last section of the base. We are up to 75%. Now, this was a dead base. We are going to be attacking in a few moments' time live. Hopefully, we can find another dead base because dead bases and skeletons just makes it so much more awesome because, of course, there are no big bombs and the witches cannot die. So this is pretty much the end of the raid. We are coming close to the end of it. Let me know, guys, how many skeletons do you think have been deployed on this map inside of this one single raid? I'm going to take a guess as well. I'm not going to tell you what my guess is. I will go in that comment section. I will cycle through as many comments as I can, and I will find the person who got the closest guess to mine and give you a shout out in the second episode of the day. So check it out. The last few buildings about to go down. There are so many Larrys there, all just popping into Elixir now. And that is where the raid end, guys. Check it out, over 900,000 loot and a great amount of Dark Elixir.
So one final attack before we do get ourselves into a live battle. And I thought to myself, you know what? Why don't we do like a combo here? Half witches, half skeleton spells, and the rest of the army can just be completely random. So check this out. We're actually going to be using 20 giants. Now this base is a weird one. It's definitely under undergraded. I mean, it's a rush base, guys. But I attacked it on purpose because I don't really want to get flattened. If we attack a maxed out base... The witches are just going to get completely destroyed. For anyone who hasn't tried them yet, they are great. They are awesome. They're a lot better than they were. But they still have no match in comparison to a Town Hall 11 base. I mean, witches are going to get dropped just because big bombs are going to still destroy them. So check it out, guys. There are multi-target Inferno Towers inside of here. But of course, if we drop in the hate spell and try and get these uh, these skellies moving, check out these, uh, these actual skeleton spells. Watch how many Larrys are produced by the skeleton spells alone and it just keeps popping them out guys it's like a never-ending cycle of little larry's coming into the base that is why i absolutely love them now these sorts of attack strategies are definitely the most fun to use in the game i wouldn't say they're the best but they really are enjoyable the only bad thing about it is using an attack like this costs you like five or even six thousand dark elixirs so you can only use it once every week or so Otherwise, you're just going to have no Dark Elixir, and you're going to end up running out. So don't forget, we are giving away, as I said, $1,000 on the last day of October. There will be a face cam to go along with the video. Half of it is going to be PayPal money, and the other half is most likely going to be some awesome random gifts. Now, we do have a really cool video to, uh, to actually celebrate 850,000 subs, which will be released on the last day of this month with the giveaway. So stay tuned, and of course, subscribe to that if you want the chance to enter. So here we go, the uh, the Barbarian King, loads of skeletons, a couple of maxed out new level 7 wizards, and of course those brand new buff witches making their way around the right hand side of the base, really taking this base down now, but of course it is once again a, uh, a quite a rush base, but we're going to go in for a live attack now, we're going to do something quite different that I've never seen anyone else do on YouTube, and it's going to be a very random crazy strategy. So check this out guys, it is live attack time and look at the army, we're using 11 skeleton spells, 12 wall breakers because we don't have any earthquake spells, we're using 9 wizards, 1 golem, 25 bowlers, king, queen, grand warden, this is going to be pretty crazy, I don't know what's going to happen with it but I'm just intrigued to see what the skeleton spells are going to be like when we actually combine them with a random bowler army, so it's going to be pretty awesome, let's see if we can find a decent base with a great amount of loot, so let's go guys. Army's ready, let's see if we can find a match. So we are looking for a base which is a little bit more open, maybe something like this. Should we attack this? You know what guys, no we're not going to attack that, it's a little bit too easy. I want to go for something a little bit harder this time. Check out the loot inside of this base, but we're going to look guys, we're going to look for a few moments. Going to see what I can find, so I'll be back in a second's time. Okay, okay, so we have possibly hit the jackpot here. Now I'm not sure what's going to happen, but all I know is there are two single target inferno towers. That's great for me. We don't even need wall breakers if we go through this section of the base. Check it out, guys. There is some random openings in the wall. And it's only on this side of the base. I don't know if they've done it on purpose. So we're going to attempt it and see what happens. So we're going to drop down, you know, just a couple of wall breakers just to break through into the first section there. We're then going to drop the rest of the wall breakers. I think just here, guys. Can we get in there without getting hit by the wizard tower? Yes, we can. Okay, okay. So... There are, there's a Larry trap there. We don't want to waste our golem, so we do not want that single target Inferno Tower to, uh, you know, hit my golem. So we're going to see if we can clear some buildings here. Going to go in with a couple of bowlers randomly there, and then the rest of them are just going to go through the center, hopefully, see if we can do some damage to this base. So here we go. There go the Wizards, the Barbarian King, and all of the Skeleton Spells going to get dropped in there. Now remember, we do not have any more spells. This is the entire army, guys. It's going to be a Grand Warden to, uh, you know, try and protect our army there. Grand Warden's ability used very early. The Barbarian King has been locked on by the single target Inferno Tower. We are already losing the Barbarian King. Check out the uh, the skeletons. They're getting melted. The skeletons are melting. There goes one of the Inferno Towers, maybe the back one. And the front one has already been taken down, guys. But the one at the back still managing to hold on to a little bit of hit points. Here we go. Can the bowlers finally take out the second Inferno Tower? It has been taken down. The skeleton spells... Seem to have got wasted by uh, maybe that big bomb, that bomb tower there. And of course the wizard over on the left hand side. Sorry, over on the right hand side. It looks like we're not even going to be getting a two star. And that is something that I should not and will not ever try again. 
So we only got 44% total damage on that base, guys. Not the greatest, certainly not the greatest. Now, just before we do end this episode, we do have 8.2 million gold. We actually had about 70,000 elixir an hour ago. Sorry, dark elixir. Now we've only got 40 because, of course, this episode has cost me a bomb. Maybe like 10 or even 15,000 dark elixir. But let's just see what we can upgrade using some, uh, some gold. You know what? We may actually keep it for the next video. Let's just upgrade a random wall. Let's just keep it at that, guys. So we will be back in a few moments' time. Don't forget to take a guess down below in that comment section. How many skeletons do you think you found on that map? I will take a look guys and whoever guesses the closest number to mine will win a shout out inside of the next video. I will see you shortly guys, leave a like, sub to the channel, peace out.